I met Andy 15 years ago. I've known Will since I was 12 years old. We had mutual friends and we talked for the first time on AIM, so AOL Instant Messenger. AIM, like the instant messaging, like through AOL, right? Of course I was on AIM. There's no texting. AIM was like the thing. My username was LRA Hoops 23 after Michael Jordan. Thought I was going to be like a pro basketball player, so yeah, you know. That one's going down to the grave with me. <laughs> Freaking sweet 08. <laughs> sweet shot 76 because of golf. Fair Bear 987. Zinda Chick 06. His was B Ball Champ 220. Zesty Gordita was my screen name. Yeah. It's a little sad that future people can't uh, meet on Instant Messenger. I'm sure they have other ways of doing it, but. If anyone sees this, please come out with a different version of AIM so Andy and Will can talk to each other. Today is Saturday, October 28th, 2017. Andy and Will are getting married today. We are in Chicago, Illinois. On a very chilly, somewhat cloudy, and very blustery day. The extravaganza at the Adler Planetarium. It's gonna be a good time. Awesome with the skyline in the background. It's gonna be a great venue. This day has been developing for so long and I have been looking so forward to it. I would describe Andy as passionate, enthusiastic, bubbly, vivacious, and a good goofball. She has a good sense of humor, doesn't take herself too seriously. She's a very determined person. She's a very good heart. Genuinely caring, helpful. She's just such a fun, loving person. We've been through so much together in our five years and we both really had our Chicago story together. Just a beautiful individual. There's not a word in the dictionary for Andy. It's, she's just Andy. Will's a great friend. Uh, he's the life of the party always and making sure everyone's laughing, smiling, and having a good time. I remember we were up at the ranch. He was cooking eggs, and while cooking eggs, he was doing push-ups. <laughs> All the best times in my life I've ever been home, so. Well, I would say what Will lacks in hair and height, he definitely makes up in uh, kindness and fun. Very loyal, very honest. Push comes to shove, he, he's a guy that will have your back 110% uh, of the uh, Get or bad, he's, he's always there for you. The first time that Will and I met, we went to the movies, and you know, I was 12, he's 13. Uh, our parents brought us and a couple friends to the movies and met each other for the first time. But didn't talk the entire time, it was very awkward, and she kind of was like, oh, well that was it, I blew it. We stopped talking in sixth grade, he told me that he was too old for me because he was 13 and I was 12 and he didn't want to corrupt me. Didn't talk again for like 10 years. 2013, one of my best friends, Diego, downloaded Tinder on my phone because he thought that it was sad that I had been single for so long. But then all of a sudden I glanced down and I saw Will's picture and I was like, wait a second. Met for a date. I feel this little tap on my shoulder and I hear, Andy? And I turn around and I just remember like, I'm like, oh, he's like this same person, but he's like hotter and older and like. She would like giggle and, and be goofy, but also like shy and it was, it's adorable. Andy's just adorable. For all of those years I had had in my mind that like we would only be friends and I secretly had a crush on him. It was a little surreal. It's, it kind of feels like today. It's like the anticipation of everything. You know, Andy was kind of doing her nursing school. She was really busy. Put me on the back burner a little bit and I was like, that's fine. Take care of what you need to take care of, and then once you're done, I'll be the first one to like congratulate you and take you out to dinner and see what goes on from there. And the second she uh, graduated from nursing school, I texted her, like, congratulations, Nurse Andy. 
Just for some reason in that conversation, I remember waking up the next morning and I was like, he's my guy. Like, that's it. And that was it from there. I don't think there was one moment in our relationship that was like, I can't live without Andy. It's like, this is what life should be. The proposal to Andy got my whole family involved, and he impressed everyone with his performance under fire. And she'd said that um, she's doing a family reunion in Black River Ranch. I told all her family members that I was going to do it. The sun was setting, and I was like, hey Andy, you should, uh, we should get like a Zinda family picture. And so I took the first picture, and then the second picture they knew to like flip the sign. On one side it said Black River Ranch and on the other side it said Will You Marry Me? And Andy has no idea, she's just like standing there wondering why people are fiddling around with the sign. And going, hey do you want to see this? And I have the ring in my, in my pocket. And so she finally looks at it and she's like, and then I get down on her knees and like, no, no, and she freaked out and that's how it went. I have to admire his sense of timing because just earlier that day Andy had shared with me that if that darn guy doesn't propose pretty soon, Dad, I'm going to have to do something drastic. <laughs> Andy, since the moment we connected on AIM more than 15 years ago, you have been the highest pedestal of what a human being can be, and you've only risen higher. You are perfect to me. You are otherworldly kind and the most considerate person I have ever met. You are a living angel, and it's tough to think that I would ever be worthy of a person like you in my life, let alone to be my wife. I love you forever, your husband-to-be. First off, <laughs> Just let me admit that I, like many others, did not see this coming. <laughs> Since you've been in my life, I see the world in such a different way. Your infectious happiness removes me from my darkest of days, and your laugh is my favorite sound in the world. You keep me calm. You make me want to be better. And you really, really, really are good looking. <laughs> I love you so much. Huh. Can't wait to actually see you. <laughs> Will and Andy, and the lovely, happy couple. It's crazy to me that Andy's getting married. I mean, she's the baby of the family. I'm like, how are you old enough to be getting married? Ever since Will and Andy got together, I could tell how much Will truly loved her. They make each other better, and they make everyone else around them better, too. So I'm sure they're nervous right now, but we're all uh, super excited for them. They complement each other well. They're honest with each other. They take care of each other. I'm just so excited to see them officially tie the knot. I'm excited to see one of my best friends get married to the love of her life. Just seeing her, I think, is the most defining moment. To seal the deal, to have a great time, and to celebrate their love is going to be the best thing. start nerding out. So 200 million years ago, these two neutron stars collided and sent precious metals across our galaxy. The Earth was covered with large pools of platinum and gold. When those precious metals are made into rings, 
and those rings become symbols of the love and commitment of two wonderful people. Then we wonder and see the presence of what life really is. Andy, we've gotten older, I've lost a lot of hair, <laughs> but not much has changed in those 15 years. I promise to be your rock in the good times and the difficult ones. I promise to grow with you and to love you because you are my world and to never forget that. I love you with all my heart, Andy, and I give all myself to you. If my mom and dad have ever taught me one thing, it was to never settle. Not in school, not in dance, not in my values, and especially not in love. You have ignited a fire within me that has made me fearless and continues to keep me present and able to live my life more fully. I vow to keep you grounded despite the curveballs that life throws at us. Thank you for embracing me for who I am, who have grown to be, and loving me despite my younger age. I love you, Wilhelm. Thank you for choosing me. You guys, I couldn't be happier for the both of you, and I couldn't be happier to be the one to thank you so much. To name you Mr. and Mrs. Well, home boards. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you all to please rise and help me welcome into the room the guests of honor this evening. How about a big round of applause for the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence! Welcome to this lovely, exciting, windy city. We are here to celebrate the union of my beautiful daughter, Andy and the bright and energetic Wilhelm. This is all about those two guys. Every once in a while, two people meet, and you know it's just meant to be. This was clearly the case when Andy and I met five years ago. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about Andy. She's obviously kind, witty, gorgeous, and smart. Turn page. <laughs> But there are subtle characteristics about her that sometimes don't meet the eye right away. And she's also one of the funniest people, but please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I instantly remember being drawn to Will's excitement over Andy. He was exactly who a best friend could wish for in her best friend's future husband. Andy had her first marathon in New York a couple years back. I remember she hit a wall around, I think the 20th, 20th mile around there. Will actually got out of uh, the spectator section and ran two to three miles with her. Moving past barricades, probably breaking a lot of laws to, to run those last few miles with Andy. Will, I know you will never stop supporting Andy like you did that day because that's just who you are. When I heard that story, I was like, okay, she's the one. She's the one for him. Andy, welcome to the family. So here's to my new role as father-in-law and to these wonderful kids that made all this happen. Let's raise our glasses and toast to Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence. I'm gonna take my girl Andy, we're gonna go on the dance floor and get down. Probably gonna cut it up and uh, impress a lot of people, so 
mostly looking forward to that. <laughs> Any bridesmaid that is worth their salt will turn it up on the dance floor tonight. Because of Will, Andy is able to explore the best versions of herself. Your support, love, and passion for Andy is so visible to everyone, and I can't think of a better man in this entire world to stand by Andy every day for the rest of her life. If you know Will, you know that he is the most fiery, intense, just gives it his all in whatever he does. Thank you for, for always being that role model to me and, and always being the biggest influence in my life. Thank you, Will. I'm the luckiest person to be marrying Andy because I get to wake up every morning to her right next to me, to start my day with her for the rest of my life. Having somebody that I truly unequivocally and unconditionally love to be around me and being such a positive, positive person in my life for the rest of my life. I think that I'm the luckiest girl today because he chose me. Just the pure and simple fact that it was me and he chose me and that's it. And that's why I'm the luckiest. <laughs>